Hello, everyone. So this is the podcast for the second day of doing elimination. And what you saw in the previous ones is that you wanted to make the signs match but be opposite in sign. And when they're, um, let's get you a good one, when it's like this, you can just add them together. But when they're off by a sign like this, you had to say multiply all of them by negative 1 to get this one to be opposite in sign of that one and matching the number. Okay, so what makes these ones a little harder, okay, so I guess this is the example from before when it worked easy. You would just add this together, get 11x is equal to um, negative 22, divide by 11, and you get x is negative 2. And then you would solve for y. And then respecting your time, I'm not going to solve for y. But you fill it back in, all right? This was the same idea, all right? multiply the bottom all by negative 1. So the top and my, I'm advocating that you guys rewrite them. Don't try and just write over top. I guarantee you will be making errors. And then when you add them together, the x's cancel and you get negative 1 y is negative uh, 9. Divide by negative 1 and you get 9. So then that's your y value. And then you fill it back in to find your x. So what makes today's challenging is that the numbers aren't the same, just opposite sign. You have to make a choice on what you want to multiply by to get it to be there. How about I'm going to choose to make the x's go away? If I multiply it by 5, then this will be negative 10. And this is when I'm really advocating that you guys take the time and just rewrite it, because if you don't, I'm, I guarantee you mistakes will happen. Negative 10x minus 45y is equal to 50. So now when I add these together, assuming I did my arithmetic right, which is always questionable, divide by negative 47, and you get y is equal to, what's it, negative 2? So again, that's going to give you your y value. Now, I'll do this once, and then I won't for the rest of them, because it's just it takes uh, time, and I want to keep the video short. The y is negative 2. I'll just use the first one. So 10x minus 2 times whatever y is. I'm going to fill in the y value of negative 2, because that's what it was. So I get 10x plus 4 is equal to 44. I subtract the 4, and you get 10x is equal to 40, and divide by 10 and you get x is equal to 4. Okay, So you have to, once you find whichever variable, you have to fill it back into either equation and find the other value. Okay, So this one, let's say I'm going to go after the x's. So I'm going to multiply this by 3. I think that'd be easier to do than to get these to match. Oops, I need this to be a negative 6, so I'm going to multiply by negative 3. Negative 6x plus 18y, I'm multiplying everything, equals negative 24. Bottom one is just the bottom one. When I add this together, this cancels. I get 28 is equal to oops, x, oops, y, sorry, equals negative 28. So y is equal to negative 1. And then again, you fill it back in to find your x. So again, I just wanted to respect your time and keep this short, so I'm not filling it back in. But you need to. This you have a choice. You could either multiply the bottom by negative 2 to get that to be negative 6, or I could multiply the top by negative 2 to get this to be positive 6. How about I do it to the top? I've been doing it for the x's. I'll do it for the top. Minus 12x plus 6y is equal to 60. 3x minus 6y is equal to 12. So I have minus 9x is equal to 72. Divide by negative 9, what's that? Negative 8. So your x value is negative 8. So fill it back in to find your y value. So this one, how about I, to make these match is going to be too hard. I'll make those match. So I'm going to multiply the top by 2. Minus 14x minus 6y is equal to negative 40. 3x plus 6y is equal to negative 15. Negative 9x is equal to, 
was negative 15, negative 55. Um, do I have a mistake? Yes, right there. I'm a goober. Negative 11. Hey, if I caught it, it's not a mistake, right? Whew. X is equal to 5. So you're going for a full coordinate again. Take this, fill it in for either of the x's, and solve for the y. Okay, thank you for your time. Have yourself a great one.